Hey guys, so my name is Richard. Uh, I developed the Half-Life Alex slow motion or bullet time mod. Uh, it's a standalone executable file. You've got to download it and just run it. So let me show you how. So here's the link. Um, it should be in the, uh, the description. Just click download. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think uh, okay. I don't think you will need to do that. Share it with everyone. So let's just download that. All right, once that's downloaded, just open the uh, zip or rar file. I think I'm going to make this a zip file. That way everyone can access it. And I'm going to drag and drop this uh, into some folder somewhere. I'm going to just throw it in uh, this, uh, my C drive, just because I'm kind of lazy. I'm just going to drag and drop it in, into there. OK. Oops. Extract that. Okay, and now I'm going to run the uh, exe. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to go into Steam and make sure of one thing. So for you guys, if you haven't done this yet, I've already done this, but I'll need to show you this. Um, we need to change a launch option for uh, for Alex. So let's just do that one sec here. So what I got to do is I got to right click on Half-Life Alex, go to Properties, and Set Launch Options. So you need to make sure you right you type these uh, these launch options in. So dash console, there's a little space here, space dash v console, and press OK. All right. That's going to allow the application to apply the slow motion in game. Okay. So this application here that I've created. Uh, so I'm just going to run that. So this is a native .exe um, application that runs not inside of Alex, but it's a separate application from the actual game. All right, um, so yeah, I, I just uh, designed this. Um, there are no SDKs, so I designed this using uh, a game engine, Unity. It's just a standalone application. What it does, actually, if you look on the left here, there's these output logs. You should see that it found the game Alex on your computer. So basically, it's going through all your games and saying, oh, there's Alex, okay. So it can access the game like, and also launch it. So before we launch it, we can change a few settings, like slow motion scale. Gravity scale as well. So slow motion scale is basically how slow things go. One is normal speed, like 0.25 is 25% speed. Uh, 0.65 feels good for me. Gravity scale, one is like regular gravity. This is like 50%, and then zero gravity. I, I like that. And uh, yeah, so if you want to give it a go, just uh, if you want to launch Alex, just click this button down here. And it'll automatically launch Alex from Steam with for you as well as VR, and notably, it'll it'll uh, launch the uh, what, that, what is this? It'll launch the, um, the the console. So the uh, the launch argument that you set up by going to the properties here allows this console to get um, turned on. Okay. So now, if you want to test it out, uh, if you turn on your controller. Assuming VR is running, uh, which I think it is for me. Yes, it's running fine. OK, got all my controllers tracked. Good. So when you press the uh, grip button, it enables. When you press it again, it disables the uh, slow motion. OK? And uh, yeah, so it does both slow motion and gravity. And uh, you should also hear a sound effect when that happens. So here, uh, let's just. Yeah, you, you'll get you. You can uh, hear it in your Vive headset when you try it. So yeah, that's how it works. So just pressing the grip button. Now, if you have different uh, controllers, um, that button will be bound to whatever the equivalent um, is for your controller. I'm using the original Vive controllers grip button uh, toggling by clicking the grip button down. All right. One more thing. There's a slow motion charge here. So I'm gonna enable slow motion by pressing grip. Okay, and the slow motion charge starts to drop. And I'm not pressing grip again. It's slow motion is currently enabled. Once it reaches the bottom, it's automatically going to disable slow motion. I didn't press the button that time. It automatically disabled. So there is a 15 second charge. Now I'm going to press the grip again. See now slow motion is enabled, and the charge is dropping. Yeah, and I can disable it by clicking the button again. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I need you guys to. Uh, I want you guys to help me out here, essentially, um, by playtesting. Um, so give it a try. Let me know how it works. 
I've only tested this on the original Vive. I don't know how it's going to work in other headsets. Um, whoever replies first basically is my first play tester. So thanks for any help. All right.